There we go. That's better. Of course, it is Fun Stuff Friday, and we have lots and lots of fun stuff for you today. Um, I'm so excited. I get to play with all these wonderful things. Uh, these are the Zorjon. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, classic colors. Uh, they are a 72 color set. They are a triangular pencil. Let's open this up and take a look at the pencils. As you can see, I had to sharpen one while I was doing the swatch, and it got a little bit shorter. Um, there, these did come from China, and they were in the mail for over a month. So little breakages is completely expected. I did not expect my uh, sharpener to eat it that much, but we will see how the rest of the sharpenings go. Um, of course, I have done the swatch, and of course, I have sped that up and everything else, so I've, I will uh, get to that, and then we'll look at the swatch chart. Um, like I said before, um, these do not have any color names or color numbers on them, so I will go through at some point and add the color numbers to their little name tags here. I haven't done that yet. So what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll grab your coffee and sit back and relax. I have sped it up so it should only be about three minutes. Um, and we will do the swatch and hopefully the music will play and all that fun stuff. <laughs> As you have probably noticed, I have um, been playing with my recording software and have figured out how to make things pretty. So uh, I hope you enjoy the swatch and of course um, sit back, relax and listen to the music. All right guys, I will be right back as soon as this is done. <music> Okay, so that wasn't so bad. So we've got 
uh, two lovely trays of pencils in this set and of course we have our swatch here now um, it starts off with our whites into our creams our yellows lots of really good yellows uh, into our oranges And then it goes weird, weird. I would normally go from orange to red, but for some reason it goes into orange, into green, and then into some purples. And these are the blue, um, violet kind of purples. And then into the blues, and then into the peachy kind of oranges, into the pinks, and then into the reds, and then into the blues, and these are the lighter blues as well as the lighter purples into our browns and these are of course our terracotta kind of colors into our sandy colors and our darker browns um, I don't know why every set puts this purple red and this um, burgundy red down with the browns but they always do and then into our grays and then oddly enough another brown another set of browns these are the really dark browns into our black and we have a gold as well so all in all a really good selection of colors um, in this set and like I said I'll go through and rearrange it and put numbers on it and all that fun stuff um, possibly at a later date if I get to <laughs> I have a tendency to <coughs> Excuse me, hold on a sec. <coughs> Sorry about that. I breathed the wrong way and swallowed at the same time. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised I'm not sneezing yet. Hopefully I don't sneeze. Um, but I have a tendency to do the swatch and do the swatch exactly the way they're laid out in the tin. And unless they're really bad, I just leave them be. And they're not really bad. They're just a different way than I would normally put them. The greens being in the wrong spot will probably bug me enough to redo it. <laughs> so there's our swatch. And we're going to take a closer look at the pencils here. Um, I'm going to switch on over to the close-ups camera. We'll turn on the light. So as you can see, they are a triangular shape. They do have the, the company name there, color pencil there, and then a barcode here with a name tag so you can put a number or a color name on there. They don't seem to be horribly off center. They're pretty good. And that's probably too close. There you go. <laughs> they're, they're pretty good for, for centered. Um, we're going to take a one of the ones that broke and we're going to put it through the sharpener and see how they sharpen let's see if this one's nope this one's got a good center uh, these are a three millimeter core so they're not an overly thick core and of course you got to get past the first initial and they sharpen pretty well um well, that one's looks like it might have a broken core I might have to do something with these ones like I said they were in the mail for a very long time so I'm kind of expecting it yeah this one has a broken core so as you can see it's really brittle and just just shattering as as I sharpen so I'm going to uh, probably contact the company about it because I had this problem with that blue one as well and I'm almost all the way through this pencil yeah see well it seems to be pretty stable there Now they say that these cores are um, glued in, but with the way that came out, I, I don't know if that is true. So as you can see on the main camera here, 
that one got a lot shorter real quick. So hopefully I don't have too many more issues with them in that manner. Uh, we're going to color with them here for a bit. I'm just going to grab the Joanna Basford's World of Wonders col coloring book. And we're going to color... Um, well, we'll try to color this one. Let's see. And I'll turn down that light. There you go. The light doesn't need to be on, I guess. I guess I have enough background going on here. Just going to move you around so I can get to the pencils. And we'll take a look at our swatch sheet so we know what we're looking at. Because <laughs> I haven't used these pencils yet. This is the first time I've used them beyond swatching with them. So, um, well, let's start with the gold. So as you can see, it's not been sharpened. I'm going to quickly give it a sharpen and hopefully not have any issues. Please. Of course, you got to get past that initial triangular sharpen. Um, yeah, it's not so let's grab a Faber-Castell sharpener or Prisma, whichever is handy. Let's try this. So the Prisma sharpener seems to work pretty well. Um, just don't like the feel of it in my hand. So we'll try the Faber Castell one next. <laughs> All right, so we'll get you in screen here. And we're going to color the spoons gold. These are really smooth, so, and they're really, really, really nice and soft. So, and they are loving this book. Wow, is it ever going down nice? So I'm really hoping that they're not completely demolished. I know nothing about these pencils. Absolutely nothing. I tried to find some stuff about them yesterday and I was not able to find a lot about them. Um, Georgeon does have many different products including uh, paints and other things like that. But uh, I will do some more research and, and update the video um, as I go along. Um, I haven't received any response back from Faber-Castell or uh, anything else on whether or not these are one of their products or a product endorsed by them with it stating that it's uh, guaranteed with the Faber-Castell um, pencil sharpener guaranteed to sharpen with the Faber-Castell pencil sharpener gives me the impression that they are something that Faber-Castell um, endorses or owns one or the other but like I said I can't get any information so and hopefully my hands not in your way Let's color up these spoons. It's a nice gold. And like I said, these are really, really, really soft. So they're just laying down so nice. And of course, we've got so many videos to do today. So I will try not to take too much time coloring on this. So I'm just going to put a couple of layers of each color down just to see how they do. And that's done pretty well. Let's grab a darker brown. 
So I think we want, yeah, this one next to the black. We'll give it a sharpen. Now this is a Faber-Castell sharpener, so let's see how they do in there. doing all that great in there either. Nope. As you can see, I broke it. Um, just trying to find the right sharpener for them. I end up with no pencil. <laughs> Okay, so my deli sharpener, oddly enough, seems to do okay with them. So, with this one anyway. I'm just going to put in a bit of a shadow there. And a bit of a shadow here. And there we have our spoons. By the time I'm done this picture, we won't have any pencils left, but we will have color. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to grab a red. I want to. I want. I want. I want. Uh, this one. And we're going to use this sharpener again. Maybe it's not going to do it. Okay, so it really doesn't like that first initial bit of sharpening. Alright, so let's do the strawberries. It's a really sh uh, a bit of a shame because these are really nice smooth pencils. And you know, like I said, I will let the company know that uh, their extended shipping time may not have done well for their product because the cores keep breaking. And the, the colors are really nice as well. They're very bright, vibrant colors, which is good too. Now I'm just putting down a basic layer here. So I'm going to take that burgundy and I'm going to put in some shadow areas and we'll grab a pinky, peachy color to do the centers. Alright, now we're going to do the burgundy is this one. I'm really afraid to sharpen it. <laughs> I really don't want it to be all gone. But I'm just going to sharpen the end. Try to, yeah, there we go. Try to be really careful with it. And So I'm just getting those shadows in there. And 
and then we'll do the what's behind it in a bit of a pink custard color. Alright, that's looking pretty good so far. Alright, so now we need, I think, this one for the centers. I think, I think, I think, I think therefore I am. <laughs> Alright, and as long as you go fairly slow, um, they seem to be sharpening fine now. I think I was just uh, trying to be a little too quick with it. And I'm just using the Faber-Castell sharpener. If it was going to give me trouble, so I would just knock down the corners and use the other sharpener, but it seemed to be okay. Alright. And then we're going to take this one, which is, yes, it's the one I want, I think. Um, debating. <laughs> no, I think it's this one that I want. <clears throat> oh, that tickle is still in my throat from when I swallowed wrong. And then we're just going to go in behind and do the custard with a bit of a pink. Just going to put a little bit of pink in here and then I'll add some yellow too. because we know the strawberries will leak and that is not showing you the color at all. Let's fix that. Uh, no, that's not what we want to fix. There we go. Come on. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can fix that so you can actually see the colors. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so that's about as good as it's going to get without sitting here for hours fiddling with it. So I'm just putting the pink down here in the bottom where it's meeting into that jello area which we're going to do um, I don't know maybe an orange or a different pink maybe a bright pink This is all custard here. All right, then we're going to take our creamy yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, so I think this is the one we want. Nope, it's this one. It is this one. And this is just a creamy yellow. We're gonna give it a sharpen. Hopefully not break it. And we're gonna go into the custard here with it a bit. Okay, and give it that color. 
custardy look. And then we're going to take a nice hot pink here. And we're going to do the jello. And then we'll do the cake and the biscuits. Trying to be really careful with sharpening this. And it's not liking that sharpener, so I'll just quickly do it in this one. Now that the corners are knocked off of it, it should be fine. All right, so we've got a nice hot pink here for our jello under here. Just go back through and make sure that I've covered everything. Sorry about that. My dog is thinking that the children are going to give her things, so she's getting noisy. Alright, so now we're going to do the cake. So we're going to use this light brown. crunch that it just made. That's what I thought. I am terrible with hand sharpeners. <clears throat> I, I don't know if it's the sharpener that I need to blame or if it's my hand. You know, because I am horrible with hand sharpeners. They break the pencils all the time. And it's every pencil. It's not just new pencils that may have broken cords. It's just me with hand sharpeners. They just don't like me. I can turn them. I can turn the pencil. Watch it. It doesn't matter. Alright. So I'm just putting in a little bit of this light brown. Charlotte, that's enough of that. She's decided that she needs to whine. The kids have gone back to their room. And then we're going to take a regular brown. I'm just going to use the Faber Castell sharpener just to knock the corners off. And then I'll use my hand sharpener just to get a better sharpen on it my crank sharpener just to get a good sharp on it. And this is just a chocolatey kind of light brown. Give it some little bit of shadow from the strawberries there. And from the whipped cream. down here, give it a little bit of shadows. These pencils are really liking this book though. They're just gliding over, to, over it. It's really nice. Now we're going to take a bit of a darker brown. I think it's this one that I want. Yeah. Nope, it's this one that I want. So it's just a bit darker than the light 
brown that I used for the cake and we're going to use it for the biscuits. Down here at the bottom. And then we'll take that dark brown again and go over it in the shadow areas. And then we'll do a color on our bowl. I think I'm going to put some red jam in the bottom of those biscuits there. Maybe a bit of purple. Yeah, let's put a bit of purple jam in it. So I need this one that was... Nope, I need this one. And I'm not being overly um, clean and tidy with this because I don't want to keep you here all day on this one set of pencils. We've got so many more to go through. But I want to give you a proper view of them as well. Like I said, I think the problems with the sharpening could either be from me or the fact that they were manhandled for a very long time in shipping so if you have the ability to buy these somewhere else other than Ally Express um, I would take a look a good look at them they're very very smooth the triangular shape is quite comfortable in the hand the the colors are really pretty there's some really pretty colors in this set. Now I'm going to put down a bit of purple and I'm going to do a light purple first and then we'll do a dark purple over top for the edges. And once you get past that corner on the triangular bits, because as you know they're just like the square pencils. Once you get past that corner, it does sharpen pretty easily. It's just getting past that corner. I think my uh, doll 133 might be dull. I think I might need to sharpen the blades. Which is possible. A couple of them I found are um, looking like they're off-center, but they're not. It's just the way they were sharpened at the factory. I was a little bit concerned on how quickly and how easily this one sharpened, but it seems to be fine. go. Now we're going to take uh, this blue and this blue. And we're going to do the bowl and then a little bit of gray in the edges of the whipped cream there. And then this one will be all done. And I'm just putting in a couple of little areas here in the curvatures. Areas that you're going to see a little bit darker coloring when you look at glass. Because it's not always just one color. 
and I'm just going to go right across here just to give it that illusion that it's all the way across. Well, it is all the way across, but the color is all the way across. And then we're going to take the lighter one. Let's hope we can sharpen it. <laughs> Yeah, this one sharpened quite nicely too. Very quick. All right. Then we're just going to go right into that darker green blue. And we're just going to bring that over. Same with up here. Just going to go into it, and bring it down. Then we're going to take this lovely, lovely light blue. And I'm not even going to sharpen this one. I'm just going to go straight in and blend it together. go and then we'll take a little tiny bit of this gray I think yes and just do the edges go. Then we'll take the white and we'll finish it off. Okay, now we're going to take our blending pencil and take a look at how well they blend with the bent blending pencil. Now I've got the Blick Studio pencil here because it's the closest one to me. Let's see, if give it a sharpen, clean it up. I don't know where my Karen Dash went. I think it's right there. Hold on a sec. Yeah. I'll sharpen this one too. So might as well do the Karen Dash. Because it's you know my favorite sharpener, but unfortunately it's dull. So getting into those small areas. All right, so I sharpened it up. Oh, it blends really nice too. of any areas that I missed as well as bring those colors together. Brighten them up a bit. Now these do state that they are a water soluble product so you could probably blend them with water. I just didn't grab a water pen that has actual water in it and didn't really want to put water in this book so but they do say that they're a water soluble product so which is really kind of cool too maybe we'll use them for our mermaid tomorrow with some water because, you know, mermaids. <laughs> All right, so they blend beautifully. They color beautifully. Although I did have some issues with sharpening, um, not horribly. 
and I think it's more my issues not issues with the pencils there's um, of course like I said they're they're shipped from for quite a while um, from Ally Express so I kind of expected them to be rattled up a little bit I was hoping that they wouldn't be horrible but there are a few that uh, have some issues that really don't like sharpening like the yellow um, pencil there it really didn't like being sharpened but they're you know once you get them sharpened they're pretty nice this one sharpened quite nicely some of them are sharpening much better than others let's try this yellow again I'll try to be really slow with it. I think I was just trying to sharpen it too fast. And it sharpened quite nicely too. It's, in, it's still in there. It's not coming out. Which is great. I'm going to switch on over back over here so you can see the picture. Nice and colored. I think it turned out quite nicely. in comparison to everything else I've used it is doing beautifully now of course we do have a couple of other products that we're going to play with today so we might even finish this entire page today <laughs> so um, hopefully that that'll be cool too um, not sure I can list all of the different products I've used on here because <laughs> there's like one two, three, four, five, six different pencils, two different sets of gel pens, you know, <laughs> all sorts of different colors. Oh, seven different types of pencils with this one. All right, guys. Um, all in all, I think they're a pretty good pencil. Um, if you have the opportunity to purchase these somewhere other than Ally Express, I would strongly suggest it. The company that I bought them from, like I said, um, took the a slow boat <laughs> um, and uh, it was in the mail for a very long time. And I did have some issues sharpening some of the pencils because of it and having some breakages. No, that could either be because of the fact that they were um, banged around quite a bit. They weren't, they were protected. Um, and the shipper did do everything possible to make sure that they were protected. I think it's just they're a fragile commodity and shipping them from that far of a distance for that length of time the um, personnel in the shipping departments and shipping receiving all that fun stuff between the two countries may not treat them very nicely but after I got them sharpened and you know start figured out which sharpener to, was the best to use on them they sharpened up just fine and none of the cores fell out which is great my biggest pet peeve about them is there is no names there's no color numbers there are no names there's just a barcode and all the barcodes are exactly the same and uh, you know but that's the only problem I have with just the pencils I have a problem with the shipping department you know uh, breaking all the pencils or I have a problem with my sharpening abilities and breaking all the pencils because <laughs> it may not be the shipping it may just be the way that I sharpen pencils um, sometimes they don't like me so as much as I love pencils sometimes they don't like me uh, once again like I said these are um, triangular pencils they're a superior quality and they are water soluble so if you are going to use these with a wet medium make sure that you use these after you've used your wet medium and let your wet medium dry. Wonderful, wonderful set of pencils. 
they go down smooth they color very nicely on Joanna Bashford's um, World of Wonders the paper in here is just fantastic and I think they did just as well as any of the other pencils that I have used on this page so all in all very nice with that I would like to say thank you very much for watching I hope you have a fantastic day stay tuned for another set of colored pencils coming up on fun stuff Friday and some information that uh, may surprise you all right guys have a wonderful day remember to relax color and stay safe and of course thank you so much for watching all right bye bye for now I will be back